December 1st and 2nd, Wednesday and Thursday, the sun is in Sag and the moon is one sign behind in Scorpio. I have to do a shout out to December 2nd, Aaron Rodgers, because this is what he was born with. He's born with sun and Sag and moon in Scorpio. It is the energetic of an athlete. I mean, I took one look at his chart and was like, obvious, because Sagittarius has this incredible physical prowess. We got to talk about that. They have extra, their body's usually bigger. They gain weight easily. They love fat boy food. They love to eat. They have this incredible joy joy and delight in life. But the moon and Scorpio, why they're great athletes is because they can focus. The thing about Sag is at worst, they're scattered. They have a lot going on at the same time. At best, Scorpio stays the task, stays the course, doesn't get distracted. So that Sagittarius exuberance with the focus, with physical prowess, Aaron Rodgers won the MVP in 2020 because he showed us in no uncertain terms that he could, I love thinking about it, he pulls his arm back and he throws it across. I didn't know until I met him the abilities these guys have. Throw it across the whole world and it lands right in the guy's hand and he goes for the touchdown. What an exuberant Sagittarius Scorpio is a high voltage. So Wednesday and Thursday, there's a new moon coming by this weekend when we're going to go back in. But this is not a time to go in. This is a time to let your physical energy show up and let your passion show up. And in honor of, just so I can say this, it's my grandmother's birthday, but not really. December 1st is both Sarah Silverman, who was my grandmother's name, even though I'm talking about the comedian, and Bette Midler, who is an example of an amazing amount of chi. So listen to the joy. Aaron Rodgers has this gift. Sarah Silverman has the funny factor. Bette Midler, bigger than life, gave us the gift of her acting and turned us on to so much emotion. That's the right use of Sag Scorpio. If we could use our emotions for creative means, writing, jumping, playing, having fun, traveling to the Sag, we wouldn't get stuck in an old story where we get stagnant. I just want to make sure December 1st and 2nd, Wednesday and Thursday, astrology answers wanted me to say to you, First of all, Aaron, I adore you, and I love that you love astrology and that you publicly acknowledge that because we all know astrology can get a bad name by the old story. He's updating it. And two, thank you so much for all the passion that you gave us in the name of your abilities to really use your body and use your power. And thank all of you, Sagittarian, Moon, and Scorpios who are out there for not being inhibited to stay the course in the depths of transformation. If there's one sign, the combination of Sagittarius and Scorpio that can change so much in one lifetime, not even look the same as they started, Transformation City, it's right here, Wednesday and Thursday. If you need some transformation, you want to really change things up, Wednesday and Thursdays are your day, said Astrology Answers. Transformation right here under the sky. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about the four elements, which is my favorite topic to talk about, what is your missing element is a question we'll ask, and then discover how to create more balance in your life, just click the link in the description to get instant access to my free elemental video series. You will find out there's so much wisdom there.